the other study I wanted to talk about, which is typical of low-carb diet studies, especially in randomized controlled trials, and this is quite a recent one. This is called Comparison of Low and High Carbohydrate Diets for Type 2 Diabetes Management, a randomized trial. So this says that we compared the effects of a very low carbohydrate, high unsaturated fat, low saturated fat diet with a high carbohydrate, low fat diet on glycemic control and cardiovascular disease risk factors in type 2 diabetes after 52 weeks. So in this study there were 115 obese adults with type 2 diabetes and they were randomized to either a low carb diet with 14% of energy from carbohydrates 20% of energy as protein and 58% of energy as fat or an energy matched high carb diet which they defined as 53% of calories from carbohydrates 17% of energy as protein and 30% of energy as fat with less than 10% saturated fat this was combined with supervised aerobic and resistance exercise 60 minutes 3 days a week. If we look at the results it says that compared with the high carb diet group the low carb diet group achieved greater mean reductions in the diabetes medication score and they also achieved similar reductions in weight and their conclusion is that the low carb diet which was high in unsaturated fat and low in saturated fat achieved greater improvements in the lipid profile blood glucose stability and reductions in diabetes medication requirements suggesting an effective strategy for the optimization of type 2 diabetes management. So I want to point out that in this study the low fat diet was not truly low fat. It had 30% of the calories still coming from fat which is very close to what you would find in a standard American or standard Australian diet. 30% fat is defined as low fat in quite a lot of these low carb studies but low fat is really less than 10% of calories coming from fat and you have to see that the people in the study are sticking to that diet and you would get a lot better results with 10% of calories coming from fat or even 5% of calories coming from fat the low carb diet gets less than 14% of calories from carbohydrates so that is considered extreme and if they're going to do something that extreme on one end they should test it against the other extreme of less than 10% or even less than 14% of calories from fat. So we would see a much greater difference if the fat intake was lower in the low fat group. So it's obvious that this study was designed to make the low carb diet look more effective than the so-called low fat diet and in this case it is more effective than what they call the low fat diet but that low fat diet is not what I would recommend. If you just ate whole plant foods and you based it on fruits and starches and limited your nut and seed intake, then you would get around 5% of your calories coming from fat and maybe even up to 10% of calories coming from fat if you're adding a little bit of nuts and seeds. So it's nothing like the low fat diet that's compared to in this study. In this study that Dr. Bernard did, he compared a conventional diabetes diet with a low fat vegan diet and the conventional diabetes diet was calorie restricted while the vegan diet was not calorie restricted in that the patients could eat as much as they wanted in the vegan diet so even without calorie restriction in the vegan diet it did better than the calorie restricted conventional diet it says in the conclusion that both diets were associated with sustained reductions in weight and plasma lipid concentrations in an analysis controlling for medication changes, a low-fat vegan diet appeared to improve glycemia and plasma lipids more than did conventional diabetes diet recommendations. Whether the observed differences provide clinical benefit for the macro or microvascular complications of diabetes remains to be established. That is a very valuable study because we see that a truly low-fat diet does much better than uh, what we call a low fat diet with 30% of calories coming from fat. So I think it would have been very interesting if we could compare a low carb diet with less than 14% of calories coming from carbs to something like Dr. Bernard's diet which is less than 10% of calories coming from fat and making it purely plant based. So I think that there's interesting studies that can be done that would be a lot more valuable 
than the kinds of studies that we see coming out that don't really tell us that much and are actually quite repetitive because I have seen a lot of other studies before comparing low carb diets to low fat diets and the low fat diet is almost always 30% of calories coming from fat and that is hardly different to the standard American diet so of course the low carb diet will do better in that case and in addition to that the low carb diet is often very calorie restricted no matter what diet you're on if you're calorie restricting you're going to lose weight and your blood lipid profiles will improve but you have to think about how sustainable that diet is over the long term definitely I would recommend a plant-based diet as Dr. Neil Bernard recommends so let me know your thoughts and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.